judge today's case is cleaning lady. He contends she just cleans and complains. She says he does nothing at all. I bet neither one of them is seeing the situation clearly. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toler presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Shane Young and Cassandra Young. The two of you have been together for 14 years, married for nine, and you have four children together. Mr. Young, you are suing Mrs. Young because you say she destroyed your PlayStation 4 and you want your $400 back. <laughs> but before we get to that, Mr. Young, I'm gonna start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your marriage and why we're here in divorce court today? Well, Your Honor, me and my wife have been together for nine years, and after nine years, we still have communication issues. And sometimes she's got a bit of an anger issue. One time, we were out on our anniversary having a good time. We ended up having a little argument, and that little argument landed us in, or landed me, living in my van for the night. <laughs> no, no. For the night. Hang on. I thought we were gonna work it out, and I see her coming down the parking lot barefoot. <laughs> I opened the door to work it out. No. Or, or to, to talk, talk to her. Yeah, yeah, or to hear what she had to say, and then she dumps juice over my head <laughs> and slams the door. <laughs> it's cold no. outside. I was sticky. Wet. <laughs> and wet. Mrs. Young? Yes. Did you throw juice on the man? Mm -hmm. I did, but <laughs> there is a reason. Well, tell so... me why. Basically, we were on a date night, and we don't get a lot of time together. We just don't, ever. And so, I'm trying to spend time with him. We came back from eating out, and he's just quiet. And I am just asking him over and over and over, like, what is wrong? Like, why are you being quiet? Why won't you talk to me? And he's like, nothing, nothing, nothing's wrong. And then he starts to say, I'm the reason why, you know, that he is frustrated because I keep asking him that, but that didn't, you know, that just doesn't make sense. It's like he keeps all of his feelings inside and he won't explain to me what is really going on in his head. Was that the juice issue? Was yes. that the day? Yes. And, and so, so you thought a little juice would clear that right <laughs> up for you? No, I was just trying to, yeah. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, uh. I guess so. I just, I was just so frustrated because nothing else was getting to him. Nothing else I was doing. I was talking to him, I was being nice. And he says that I, I don't care about his feelings and I just want him to be happy so that way I'm happy. But that's just not always the case. I really do care about what's going on inside his head and what's stressing him was out. Was she just trying to make, uh, find out what was on your mind or was something else going on altogether? No, she was trying to find out what was on my mind. She'd ask me what was wrong. But she likes to ask the question, what's your issue or what's your problem? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's more that's like an fight. invitation that's, to fight that's than fighting. it really is. I tell her, I was like, that's fighting. And then later on, after we get in a fight, she'll be like, oh, well, I was trying to ask you how you felt, but I think she was trying to bait me for a yeah. fight. This is Mrs. Young, <laughs> Mrs. Young. There are two things, there's two ways you can go. Right. Baby, what's wrong? Right. What's your issue? <laughs> Which one did you deliver? What's your issue? Yeah. <laughs> because it's just, he just, he won't say it. And then it's I like... I think he might be afraid of your response. Yeah. Do, do, do you think <laughs> that might be part of the problem? That, that very much could be the case. But even when I try to be softer, at least I think I am, he still won't tell me. But then a couple of days later, he'll tell me what the issue was. So uh -huh. there really is an issue, and it's not just me asking him that. He just doesn't want to talk about it then. Do you think you have an anger issue? He seems to think you do. So far, the stories have confirmed that. Juice on the head if a man is out in the car because <laughs> he can't get in, that's a lot. Yeah. Do, do you get overly angry about small things? I think I, think I could, um, but I think it just depends on how his reaction is to what I'm if I'm trying to help him uh -huh. and he takes it the wrong way. Or if, like me, like I like to clean the house a lot. Like I uh -huh. really, really, really like a clean, like house. A clean house. And we have four kids, so it's really busy. And I have set schedule, like clean when you wake up, midtime and at night. But he would just wait all day and just not clean and say, well, the kids are gonna play with the toys anyways. So why even clean them up? But if we just do that every day and every day, then nothing would ever get done. And so 
we constantly argue over that. And I think that it's because he just doesn't want to have to do anything. He just would rather just sit there and not do anything. And he even gets mad at me when I'm trying to clean and, and I'm going around him and I say, it's fine, I'll clean. He gets mad at me because he feels, you know, lazy. So he doesn't so want to get up. So he wants you to be lazy, no. too. Yeah. Like he wants to yeah what is your response to that? <laughs> what is cleans, your response? When she cleans, she's like a train going through the house. Nobody, she, <laughs> she can't clean around anything. She's cleaning through people. <laughs> she, she'll run us over Look at me, Mr. Mr. Young. And so the thing is, is she's sort of a perfectionist. Mm -hmm. So when she cleans, it's not actually cleaning. Like, it's an art form to her. <laughs> so, I could never match up to that. Every time I try to do something or I try to do it good, it's never good enough. And, and even, even if there's nothing to do, she'll yeah. still see it as not done because she didn't do it herself. <laughs> so when I clean, I try to be effective with my time because we got four kids. So I'm we're not spraying gonna... pine right. salt on the walls when I come home from school so it smells oh, okay. clean. No, 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 no. Is something you didn't do that, that would did work. You, Mr. Young. I and there was dripping pine salt all <laughs> over the walls. And I'm like, what is this? Did you do that, Mr. Young? Because <laughs> the house is clean. <laughs> it is. And, and so I was like, if I just make it smell like that, <laughs> visually, you might get some it looks clean. Yeah, and it worked for a long time. But... <laughs> Drips down the wall at, uh, <laughs> over time, <laughs> and I got caught. Right. <laughs> I, still, I still do it. You still do it. I now, still do it. Now, now Ms. Young, I, I want you to, you know, step back from yourself, open your mind wide like a prairie, and ask yourself, are you a little bit of a clean freak? It, I I, I think so. I, I do. Because you but said you were a perfectionist. I want to control it. And I mm -hmm. think that if I don't try to control it, maybe it's because that's what he also thinks. He thinks that I have control issues, so I'm trying to control how he feels. And so, and then I'm trying to control the house. But they're like totally separate things. <laughs> so yeah, I. Yeah, but your control <laughs> issue could be one thing that's affecting those two separate things. Yeah, that definitely. Do you think is. you might have an issue with control? Oh. I could. I mean, just stuff in my life I haven't been able to control very much, you know, mm. family not around and both of us, we just don't have a lot of family around, a lot of support and mm -hmm. I can't necessarily control other people so I probably try to control what I do have and just try to hold on to that. I used to drink a lot and I used to have a lot of adventures. <laughs> and yeah. Sometimes it costs a lot of money. me a story, one story where he was just laid back and it just honked you off. One, <laughs> just one. I'm Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's, there's two types of people I feel like, and, and, and she's a type where she wants to climb this ladder, climb this ladder, climb this ladder. There's success somewhere up there, but she keeps climbing and I like to just, be comfortable. Enjoy the rung you're on. Chill out <laughs> and, and enjoy my life. But we don't and, get much and done. And so she, around my house, she's a superhero. Like, she, she does everything with the kids. She'll, she'll talk to my family for me and act yeah. like she's me. Yeah, I'll text them for him. She <laughs> does everything. Because he won't she does the Okay, there we go, there we go. I can't do it. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> so so Tell his story. family will text him or call him, and he'll be like, okay, I'll get back to them. And, and then he just, he never does. He'll never do it. Or, and so I feel like he isn't putting that effort, I guess trying to put in the effort to build the relationship because later he'll complain about, I don't have people in my life or that like, I haven't talked to my mom in forever. And so when he does get a random phone call, he'll be on the phone with them for hours because he doesn't talk to his family very much. And then, it's right in the middle of when we're trying to do, you know, our life stuff, just like we're with the kids and things. And so he just takes off and he dips out and he's on the phone forever. And then we are always arguing at that and he gets mad at me because I'm telling him that you could prioritize. 
when you talk to your family. I got you. And so he's just not trying. It took me a long time to get there, but I found it. <laughs> Are you not handling your business? Are you not on top of things? Consequently, it requires your wife to be in overdrive all the time to take up the space that you have failed to fill? I used to drink a lot, and I used to have a lot of adventures. <laughs> and... Sometimes it costs a lot of money. Sometimes I put us in a bad spot, so... Yeah, one time we got a I tax mean, return and he spent all of it. I mean, it was like, I don't know. He spent all of it on what, liquor? He went out with his brother, yeah. We, yeah, he said he was in, oh, it was at work. He said he was gonna buy a flat screen TV. So I told him where the money was. It was at home and... No. No. <laughs> no, no flash. The money was gone and, and nothing he came in the gone. house. Yeah, and then he was gone. Do, 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 you, do you agree <laughs> that that happened or do you have another version of that story? Well, I decided I'd go to the casino and just, <laughs> just for a minute. <laughs> I was winning <laughs> and then I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what happened, the odds happen. That is, the, the odds are always in favor of the house, you know that. Yeah. That's how they keep the drinks free. I was pretty inappropriate for about maybe 10 years. Yeah, yeah, oh, out good. of it. That's a long time to be out of pocket, Mr. Young. Long, <laughs> yes, long, it long, was. long time. Mr. Young, have you been less than uh, uh, appropriate for a number of years? I was pretty inappropriate for about maybe 10 years. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, oh, out good. of it. That's yeah. a long time to be out of pocket, Mr. Young. Long, <laughs> yes, long, long, was. long time. Do you think that possibly just possibly. <laughs> She's over the top about controlling things because she was never quite sure what you would do. Absolutely. Yeah. And I'm sure that, that sometimes she wondered that. <laughs> uh, but yeah. it's not like that anymore. How long have you been appropriate? I think I've been appropriate for about four or five years. Has he been appropriate for four or five years? But it's like the opposite now. So, like, he is there. I don't have to wonder, like, where he's at and spending our money, but he's there. He's just but there. He's just there. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, can you go help me with this? Okay. And then he won't do it. And I'm like, can you just go do it? And he won't do it. So then I'll get up and I will just go do it and I'll get mad at him. And he's like, nobody has to just jump when you say jump. No, but that's because she complains about everything that I do. I can't grocery <laughs> shop. I can't do laundry. I can't clean anything, right? Because he goes right? to the store and he just picks whatever. Like, you know, I, I like Do you coupons. give him a list? Yes, but he will buy the most expensive version of everything and just say it's for convenience or uh, or buy three of everything because I didn't I didn't know which one. And I I often do <laughs> coupons. I mean, I, all the yeah, time. You, like, you, yeah, you yeah, you you 100% you, know? you yeah. in it to win it. And I, and I and everybody always says that at the store that I do a good job. They're like, "Wow." And so he and he'll just spend all the money and he'll come back with nothing and like three things. I got you, I got you. Tell me what happened to your PlayStation 4. So she gets angry at me and sometimes she takes it out on my things. <laughs> and so this one time she was getting angry with me and so I decided I would just take my stuff and go to the living room like I usually do. So I got my backpack full of clothes, I got <laughs> yeah, my TV, so I got my PlayStation, yep. and I'm gonna move out to the, to the to front. To the living room. <laughs> and so on one of my trips back to the bedroom, she had taken my PlayStation and decided to throw it on the ground. Now, I'm not out doing stupid things a lot, and so, I mean, when I'm at home, that's what I do. So what happened to the PlayStation? It, it uh, went into a few pieces, like four. But the thing is, when I was during that point, he was just not listening to me. And so he thinks now, like, okay, I'm not gonna leave. Like, he wasn't gonna leave. No, He's just gonna just go into the living you. room. He's gonna go into the living room, and that's gonna just make it better if we just don't talk about the issues. And I'm like, no, you need to come back. We need to talk about these issues, and we need to fix this. We need to fix it right now. And he just is like, no, I don't wanna talk about it. I don't wanna talk about it.
let me let me tell you something, Mr. Young. I think in a lot of ways you are the author of your own angst. I think that I think I think she's a little hard to live with. She's a, yeah. she's hyper clean and mm -hmm. super controlling, and I think she's got a temper. She came in here all nice and sweet and <laughs> polite, but I think at home she can she can start a fire and keep that sucker burning for a long, long time <laughs> until she can come out with that juice and pour it and put it out. <laughs> I honestly believe that. I see that. I know it wasn't here, but I know I know what you're talking about. I, I really do understand it. But I think you authored a lot of that. First of all, when you carried on for 10 years, it's different. Women like to be secure. We like to be comfortable and know that our stuff is taken care of. And when you're off on your adventures, and your adventures cost money, and she doesn't know how you're going to do. That's very stressful. Though. So when she can't control you, she controls everything she can, which is the cleanliness, the house. And then she's at you about what you're talking about. And then I'm going to applaud you. Absolutely. You went from inappropriate to appropriate. And I appreciate it. I'm sure she appreciates it well as well. But in addition to not actively causing chaos, you ought to also contribute meaningfully <laughs> to the union. You can't just hang loose, take all your stuff into the living room, and <laughs> camp <laughs> with the PlayStation and let her handle all of the business. She wants a partner, my man. <laughs> I think she loves the living daylights out of you. She wouldn't have stayed 10 years with all that nonsense if she didn't love you. And what yeah. I want you to do is love her enough to give her what she needs in terms of an active, interested companion. You think you could do that for me, I Mr. Young? I love her with all my heart. I didn't ask you if you loved her. <laughs> didn't ask that at all. I don't question your love for her. What I'm questioning is the manner in which you convey that love. Love unexpressed doesn't do anything for her at all. It makes you feel warm and fuzzy when you see her, but it doesn't do a thing for her because you're not expressing it. You with me, Mr. Young? Yeah. So... Can you come, come, come on, Mr. Young? Mr. Can, no, 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 Mr. Young. Mr. Young. Mr. Young. Mr. Young. Right. Come on. <laughs> can, can you just wind it up? Give me some energy. All right. Actively <laughs> participate in this union with this woman, so you can stay out of the car and keep the juice <laughs> off your head. There will be no recovery in this matter. <laughs> it is so <laughs> ordered. All right. It took you a while to get there, but. You yeah. got there. All right, yeah. Judge Lynch, she kind of sided with you, too. How do you feel? Um, I, I finally see that maybe he might get it. Um, maybe he'll get it. Do you get it or what? I you do. step up and be a participant here? I do. I completely understand where she comes from, and I love her, so I will give more effort. Stay in the bedroom, maybe not pack, don't pack your bags. Yep. Stay in the living yeah. room. Yeah. yeah, no. No juice on the head, right? <laughs> yeah. we're, we're good? We'll agree. Follow us on Instagram for additional content from this case and preview our next all-new episode. Judge, today's case is out of gas. It appears this relationship has run out of gas. Let's see if we can do anything to replenish the tank. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Chassie Goodson and Lawan Ag. The two of you have been together for 13 years, married for two years, and you have two children together. Mrs. Goodson, you are suing Mr. Ag for six thousand dollars for money he used for a car that you say should have been saved for something else. We're going to talk about that momentarily, but before we do, Mrs. Goodson, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your marriage and why we're here today? Judge Toller, my husband tries to control my every move, but he is not the boss of me. 
okay? For example, uh, at night, he went and took my phone and connected it to my car Bluetooth to see my recent calls and text messages while I was sleeping. I had to. And then, <laughs> then he turns around and went through my purse while I was sleeping. He do all his dirt while he, while, while I'm sleeping. you sleep. Mm hmm. Went through my purse, found the receipt, and said, "Why was I at the place on the receipt?" And he thought I was somewhere else. Now, Mr. AJ, do you do all of those things? Yeah, she don't tell me anything. Do you I'm think she's cheating? Out some way. Yes. Do you think she's cheating yes. on you? Why do you think she's cheating on uh, you? She she continues to lie. She tells me different stories. Uh, one time she told me she was supposed to be going to uh, working all night long, but I found out on Facebook she was at, uh, at a casino. Not, when her car was there, she said true. she wasn't there. Not true. Now, Miss Goodson, told. did you say you were working and, and you were at the casino? No, I was not at the casino. He is mistaken. Well, her He's car mistaken. was there. Her car was there. It was a car that was just like the car I, I had. I checked the license plates. <laughs> I checked the license plates so she can't say it wasn't her car. That's controlling. That's yeah. controlling. He checked the license plate, though. Was it your license plate? You know it was yours. I, I sent I'm her a picture. She knows it's a license plate. I plead the fifth. <laughs> you played the best. Uh -huh. You were there. You were there. Mm -hmm. When I try to go out, I try to go out a couple of times out the month. Just not too much, because I am a mom. Mm -hmm. So when I do try to Every go weekend. out, as Hang on. soon as I get dressed, Oh, you going to see your boyfriend? I ain't never seen that outfit before. Is that for your boyfriend? By the time I get out the house, uh, two hours later from accusations, he calling me 50 times by the time I'm up the street. Do you call her a lot? Uh, yes. yes, I do. But I only reason is just to see if she's going to answer or not, you know? <laughs> she, sometimes she answers, sometimes she don't answer. And when she's with her boyfriend, she doesn't answer. There is no boyfriend. So how did you two meet? Your Honor, I was walking down the street, minding my own business, and then he just came stalking, hey, can I holler at you, can I holler at you? And I told him he had to get out the car if he wanted to talk to me. And I went on ahead into the store. When I came out, he was out there on the corner waiting to talk to me. So I went on ahead and gave him my number, and he offered me a ride to work. And he that ran out. That same day? Yes, but I had my knife and my mace. So, <laughs> so when I got in the car, he got me halfway to work, and he ran out of gas, so I had to take the bus the rest of the way. Did that and happen? That's when I was young, you know. <laughs> It was, was a blizzard was, outside. Was, hey, listen, can't nobody say nothing to you because you got her, so, you know, <laughs> gas or no gas. I was young. Tell me what happened on her birthday. Okay, so this year, I took her out for the weekend for her birthday. Uh, we had a good time. But Monday, she said she wanted to go and hang out with her family. And uh, I didn't think nothing of it. When she was hanging out, she didn't answer the phone. So the next week, a week or two, her family was FaceTiming each other. Mm -hmm. And, uh... Her family say, uh, when are we gonna be able to hang out with your, for your birthday? But she told me previously that, that, that Monday after we hung out that she was with our family. That Where family, was you? That family member has Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. <laughs> <laughs> she does. Oh. I oh don't have God. the documents here, but... <laughs> okay, and uh, I know you're not talking... Judge Toller, he went off... Last week, and was had his phone blowing up, blowing up, blowing up. I don't know who is calling you? Who calling you? He, uh, I don't know. I don't know who calling me. So then I go ahead and I let it go like a good wife because I am a good wife. And I come around and I see that the next day the phone is still ringing off the hook from a private number. It was 86 minutes. I should put my phone on call. silent like she does. 86 That's what I minutes. Call. Do. You did Mr. put your phone on silent that day. Who was calling you? Who was calling? Well, you know, I get uh, clients that call me all the time, and I I'm not sure what specifically Some she's talking about. Some record was calling his phone oh my God. from six years ago, Your Honor. Six years ago. Do you know who she's talking about? Uh, yeah, I kind of know who she's talking about, but as you know, she always saying that this person is in my life, which is not true, you know? Uh, so, <laughs> he, I she want to play the same money game to her. Sending money to her over his cash app. Were you sending money to this particular woman? She was working for me. Ah. Uh, <laughs> she works. I, I run a small business, so she she does some some work for me. You see what I'm saying? But you, you know she. Uh, no, I don't want to hear that. You talking about she worked for you? I didn't know he worked for. Your Honor. Worked for him. All I know is he's sending the girl money. Oh. Like he got a child out there paying child support. He ain't pay child support for the other kids he got. Mr. Ag. 
Well, who is this woman to you? Uh, she was a friend. I no longer talk to the lady anymore. That was years ago. She still brings the situation up. But now, now she, she's the one who... Okay, we can talk about last week then, Your <laughs> Honor, if I may. Yeah, you wanna just cut me off. Please do. Last Please week, do. What happened last week? Last week, my phone was off. So I went on ahead and I asked him if I could use his phone. It was just for two days while I didn't have my phone. It was damaged. He had three different women that he was trying to talk to on Messenger. One asking, oh, can I take you out? Like, he not married. He all in the DMs. So it's okay for The us. creeper guy that say good morning every morning and your DMs. Oh, this guy. That's what you are. Are you creeping are. on the DMs, Mr. AG? No, what it is actually is when she's gone and not answer her phone, yes, I go through my messenger and may talk to people who... Your she's honor. not around, so what am I supposed to do? Now, Mr. AG, you mean to tell me if you're not in constant contact with your wife, <laughs> you have to go off and get in some woman's DM and okay. have a conversation because you can't entertain yourself long enough without I mean, her being with what, you? What do you want me to do? You want me to be hurt, you know, wondering where she is at? Y'all just clap, clap on, clap on. But when she's off missing in action and running off to Atlanta or whatever the Your case Honor, may be... Your Honor, I would not be running off yes, if I got do. what I needed at home. He's not even intimate with me. No, it's not exactly. Missing. You want to go to sleep after you get what you want. He's only nice to me when he wants to have sex, Your Honor. Mr. H, she's gorgeous. Yes, she is. Yeah, and then... Absolutely gorgeous. But she's begging for sex? How does that work out? She's not begging Oh, I'm not sex. begging, because six minutes begging. later, it's right back into his long order marathon. Don, don. <laughs> No affection. He, I'll, I'll try to do something sweet for him, put on something nice, put the radio on. He want to turn the radio off, and he only shows me affection when he feels like it. Well, she's at home all the time, and I work. Oh, now I'm at home all the time. Which one so is then it? When you Which show one affection, is it? Though? I want to no. go to sleep. No, it's not exactly. Home. You want to go to sleep after you get what you want. He's only nice to me when he wants to have sex, Your Honor. Mr. Ag, she's gorgeous. Yes, she is. Yeah, and absolutely then absolutely. Go- but she's begging for sex. How does that work she's out? She's not begging. Oh, I'm for not sex. begging. Cause she's six minutes begging. later, it's right back into his long order marathon. Don don. <laughs> <laughs> Just all night. <laughs> that long you... order gets people though. That yeah, long yeah, order. Yeah, you get you get tired. Like crack, though. That law and order, you get started on that, you get, oh, I understand. Your Honor, she does things, and she so she uses the things that she's saying to cover up her facts and her, 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 her cheating, I'm her lies. I'm not covering up anything. Mr. Yes, AG, you say that she has bad spending habits. Tell me about those spending habits. She makes sure that I cover all the bills and take care of all the things. <laughs> one, one incident is her phone bill. Every time it's her phone bill, every every month is two hundred dollars, a hundred dollars. Like I pay her phone bill, give her two fifty, then the next week her phone is off. Says she needs another eighty dollars is on a payment plan. That's not true. I don't understand. That is not true, Your Honor. I don't know what she's doing with her money. You're on a payment arrangement too, okay? But it's okay if you're on a payment arrangement, (laughs) but if I'm paying the bill, pay the bill. Don't sit there and try to uh, take the money and do other things and then come back to me and expect me to keep on forking over money. Like when you were sending money to somebody else. Uh, Here you go, using her family. To do what she wants to do. I'm not going to be paid if he wasn't taking care of somebody else's family. Do what she wants to do. While she was working. How much is your phone bill? My phone bill is 160, and it's the extra. But I got three lines, and her phone bill seems to be more than mine. Okay, what about the car that I bought? Six thousand dollars car. What about the tax refund she ran off with? To. He coerced me to buy a car. He nagged me and nagged me and nagged me. When all along we were supposed to be buying furniture. He sat there and he looked for furniture with me. He told me, we're gonna get this furniture. I was at her. Bob's furniture. He turned around and said, oh, we gotta get a car. Why do we have to get a car? We both have cars. Why what? do we have Did to get a Did you get a third car? No, we didn't get a third car, Yarna. We it just upgraded car. her car. She had a car that had, it has a little, you know, mechanical issue. He so made... I say, let's take the car and get rid of this car and get a new car. Oh, she was, she's all witty because she's in a nice car now, but you know, now it's a, I owe her 6000 Come on. Now, is your husband telling me the truth that, in fact, he didn't get a third car, he upgraded your car? My car did not need upgrading. I had a nice car. But you took it. 
I went on ahead and bought the car because he made me feel like the car wasn't going to be working within a year. That's a brother doing his husbandly duty, making sure that his wife's got a nice ride. Thank you. Thank you. Because the last thing he wants to happen is have that beautiful woman of his stuck in some hood somewhere because the car don't work. Way to go, brother. Way to go. You gotta tell me That's something. Who's in Maywood? I don't know who's in Maywood. Tell me so, who's in Maywood. So, you tell me. We're... There's nobody in Maywood. I, got I went to go have a picnic or something. with my female Who cousin. is in Maywood? You investigate enough. He is paranoid from all I'm that law and order watching. You say he lies to you about where he's going. What does he lie to you about? He'll say he's going to work, and three hours later, when I call him, it's poker chips in the background. Somebody, I'm all in. But it's better than you telling me you you going to work and you not there. You somewhere I else. I am at work when or I'm at work. When she t got a tax refund, she just all of a sudden disappeared. You know. How uh, much was the tax refund? I sh I don't even know. She keeps everything so Your secretive. Your Honor, because every time I get anything, she he wants disappeared. Me to how much was the tax? She ran out of town. How much with our was money. the tax refund? $10,000. Exactly. Exactly. And what'd you do with it? I Didn't use pay it no to bills. better... I use it to better my career as a hospitality person. I'm in customer uh, service. Now, that's the saddest answer I've heard all day. <laughs> you couldn't even get it out of your mouth. What? Well, that's... I had to be secretive, Your Honor. He's always going through my things. Every well, time. Well, out that 10000 I got $225. When? But I take care of all the shoes you brought me. $220 out of 10000 I didn't even know I it was $10,000. I want to know where the other $9,000 went. It went towards another car. Another car? Yes, that he coerced me into buying. He's manipulative. Is it the same car we were already talking about? No, it's a different car. How many cars do you build people got? He, he, he's obsessed with cars. Oh get a new God. car, get a new car. He'll tell me oh over Lord. and over until it's I do it. It's all about necessity. He manipulates me into spending money how he wants me to spend it. I, I have he's no spending freedom. spending it on you. Definitely. <sighs> what happened when she went to Atlanta? She went to Atlanta. One day she said she was going to work. I get no answer for days. Like, I mean, for at least the time it took for her to come from because of Chicago the to Atlanta. Then, how about, how about another one? She went to, uh, she, she tells me she's going to, uh, to see her uh, friend again in uh, Lansing, which is uh, on one side of town in Chicago. I found a receipt in her car. She was away Wait, on the west side. Wait, how did you find the receipt, though? Because I looked. I'm going to have to figure out something. I'm not going to let you keep on just running over me and just doing whatever you, you want to do. That's not going to happen. Do you forget the 10 years before? It doesn't matter. We're talking about the two the years that we in, uh, in our marriage. She said she's in Lan uh, Lansing. The receipt says she's in Maywood. Who are you in Maywood with? Find out Maywood is really where she hangs out with. I don't know who's in Maywood. These are all a You gotta tell me something. Who's in Maywood? I don't know who's in Maywood. Tell me so, who's in Maywood. So, you tell me. We're... There's nobody in Maywood. I, do some I went more to go have a picnic something. with my female Who cousin. is in Maywood? You investigate enough. I went to the grocery store. He found the grocery store receipt in my purse while I was asleep. Oh, wake up, wake up, wake up at 3 in the morning. <laughs> talking about, oh, you was in Lansing, you was in Maywood. Okay, we had to get groceries for the picnic. What was supposed groceries to be? Groceries for a picnic. Bark off Lansing, the tree and it's grass. It's like a, at least an hour away from each other. And in traffic, you're at least an hour away. You, so you went from Lansing to Maywood to get yeah, some groceries. Yeah, I know he keeps time. He keeps time of me getting in the shower, too. <laughs> oh, you was in the shower for 42 minutes. What, you did all that for your boyfriend? Every day I have to deal with it. Do you ask her how, why she spent so no, long in the shower? No. You just not, did not, not two you days sit there. ago. No. Oh, now she's she making up stuff. He said I took too long washing my crevices. Oh, no. she's, she's in the car. She's in the... Uh... If she, I go to the bathroom, the... he'll be right there at the door trying to see if I'm I on the phone. I was minding my she's own business. She's definitely on the phone in the, in the um. I am the bathroom. not on the phone in the bathroom. He, it's she's his own guilty she's conscience. She's hiding her phone. Turn it upside down, not showing, trying to hide every five. She's so secretive about this situation. No, you're Somebody, guilty. she's hiding somebody. No, he's... He's definitely he's, hiding. He is paranoid from all I'm that law and order watching. <laughs> so you told me about the $6,000, and I just want to go over it again because you want me to award you six grand 
for a car that he bought you. Have I got that right? Your Honor, I bought the vehicle, but I was supposed to buy furniture. So we have a car now, but no couch at that time in our first year of marriage. He said we were buying In our furniture. first year of marriage? Yes. That was the first year. This is the second, and it's gotten even worse. Especially the lies. my money up. That's not you true. Off, you want to save hers and spend mine. I get him things all the time. I bring I'm him not dinner. I'm for all that, but... I have his clothes clean. He does nothing when it comes to the house. I do everything. Gone. I'm the mother. I'm the... Always I have to get the gone. kids. I ha Who's always gone? You always gone. That is not true. He is not always gone. Phone. You're never there to know if I'm gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I work in the morning from now, 9 to 5. 9 to 5? I'll be at home, and at 5, 5 to 5 in the morning, you're gone. That's not true. Okay. That is not true. Now, Ms. Goodson, you and I both know you're not getting that $6,000. We, right? We both know that. You're an intelligent woman. <laughs> you know I'm not going to give you that $6,000. That $6,000 went underneath you so you could ride it around Chicago. <laughs> and that's exactly what you're doing. And you were riding around Chicago, took his tax refund, left it somewhere. We don't know where that $10,000 went. You me. ought to be glad that he didn't ask any for any money from you. Because if anybody's been uh, watching us here, it's you. <laughs> Mr. A.G., if I were you, I wouldn't care what she did with the money. I would keep her. Because she's gorgeous. What? Gorgeous is okay. There's no upgrade on that. But you gotta come That's with... just wonderful and lovely over there. Oh, the and this man. brother is buying you car after car after car. He loves you. You love him. Stay together. Keep Chicago safe. There will be no recovery <laughs> in this matter. It is so weird. Uh, I mean, you two, you two seem just a lovely couple. Oh, thank you. You know, Judge Lynn likes you guys. She's rooting for you. But you guys, I feel like the tr is it trust. What? The trust has been damaged a lot, but hearing Judge Tolo today, I really want to work on our marriage. I feel like it's worth it when it all is all said and done. Mm -hmm. It's not really as bad as it seems. Tell me how you feel after uh, speaking with Judge Lynn today. Uh, it's all right. Uh, I feel like we can try to keep moving forward, you know. Got to give her a little bit more trust. Yeah, you're snooping a lot, you know, the, like, uh, private eye here. Can you, can you ease back a little bit? Uh... I don't know. She might take over. <laughs> but that's so hard to get back. You know, we could work on it. That's how we could do. Judge, today's case is just be a man. He has two women that he sleeps with three children that we know about, and a boatload of aspirations to be, guess what? A rapper. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toler presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Tynesha Duffy and Joshua Presley. The two of you have been on and off for 10 years. You've been living together for the last five months, and you have one child together while you have... One child with someone else and another one on the way with someone else. I do believe we'll get that straight later. Uh, Ms. Duffy, you are seeking $2,500 in transitional support because you are more than through. Uh, we're going to talk about that momentarily, but before we do, Ms. Duffy, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why we're here today? Okay, Judge. For one, I love this man, but... He cannot keep a job. He cannot take care of these kids that he keep on making. And he cannot possibly think that that's love and he's going to get me to marry him like that. Like, one time, I bought him some pants for work. Mm -hmm. And he, he did not stay at that job longer than two weeks. Yana. And and it's just like to the point where I've I've done this more than enough times for him. Like I've tried to be supportive. He said I don't support his music. One time I bought him a whole microphone for his studio. So it's like I just don't understand. You don't understand like, what he's looking for. Yeah, like I don't understand. And then he's like blaming me for you know breakups that we've had and him making babies. I just don't. I that's why we're here today, Judge, to figure out what's going on and if it's. Anyway, well, it's not really any way to fix this. I just really want to... You, you, you just want to go? Yes. Mr. Presley, what do you think's wrong with this relationship? 
Judge Lynn, this is what I think is wrong with this relationship. All she care about is money. Money, 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 money. If I don't got no money, I don't You're get right. anything. You're right. Ho, 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 listen. Yana, oh. listen. I don't mind working a nine to five, Yana, but I am an uh, expiring artist with my music, Yana. I you're not an expiring, you're an aspiring. Uh, aspiring. <laughs> if you were expiring, we'd all have to bury you. No. Which wouldn't I be said good. Aspiring. I'm oh, you said aspiring. Okay, aspiring. good enough, good enough. That's all right, that's all right. It's okay. I just didn't want to, you know. It's okay, Judge Lynn. It's totally okay. <laughs> but I am an aspiring oh. artist with my Great. music, and I had a gig about two months ago back in Marietta, Georgia. I feel like I couldn't attend the gig because it was cutting into the hours of my job. Say I get off at, say I go to work at five and get off at 11, and the gig would be probably at 10.30, Yana, and it's worth money, it's worth in the thousands, Yana, and she wants me to go work at a pizza spot or a McDonald's and flip burgers. I've been doing that since 15. I'm not with it, Yana. I deserve better for my life, and that's what I'm going to get, Yana. Okay, I understand. Let me ask you this, though. I understand that you are trying to be a rapper. I get that part. But you've got three children, right? Absolutely. So who's taking care of them? Uh, I am... Financially. I am helping their mothers take care of them, and I do as, as much as I can, Your Honor, and I, and I pick up the slack wherever I can pick it up at, Your Honor. But as she... much as I can, where, whenever I can pick it up at. Yes, ma'am. Kids can't eat as much as they can. Absolutely. As, as I can. You know what I mean? Kids aren't an effort. Kids are an absolute. It's not I can make right. a kid and if I can if I can throw some change at him every once in a while I'll do that. Absolutely. It's not it's 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 not that kind of gig. Yes, ma'am. So she works full time, does she not? Yes, ma'am. But at the same time, I help. I can provide when I can. Just because she's the breadwinner, that doesn't give her the right to down me and downplay my job or. My How does money. she downplay your job or I down you? It. She might say, oh. Uh, just like, just like I said about two months ago, I brought in a check, Yana. Of course, it wasn't that much because I'm doing, I'm doing something that I really don't want to do. I brought in a check. It wasn't that much. She takes that. It's like as soon as I give her the money, she's okay. But when the money runs out, the love runs out, Yana. Now listen, he's he's trying to be a rapper. If one day he blows up like, now I'm gonna try. Don't don't hold me to it. <laughs> two chains. <laughs> okay. And, uh, two hey. chains. I so, if he blows okay. up like two chains, you'll be very, very happy. So, do you understand supporting him now while he's pursuing that I career? I understand it. I've been supporting him. I've known him for but that's nine, going on Stop. ten years. Wait a minute. This is the same dream that talk. he's had in high school, and it's not gotten us anywhere right now. So, I'm all I'm saying is, for our child and the children that you have, you should you know, want to have right. some type of income coming in Absolutely. so that you can give them. And so that you say you want to be with me, you should want to be able to go out on dates and do stuff with me. Like, it shouldn't be just the one side. Oh, he ain't got no date money, honey. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm hey, hey, right hey, now. Hey, he not, just hey, trying to support jet, people. Not yet, nah. Hey, it's almost there. It's in the works, baby. You know, I've been moderately successful. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> You know, people say, you know, things don't happen overnight, this, that, and the other thing, and I've, and I've got this one meeting. I've had a lot of one meetings that went nowhere. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? Before I got this one meeting that went, went where I was headed. So you can't put all your eggs in one basket, or if Thank you're going to put all your eggs in that basket, you need to put a condom on the rest of you. Is that problematic, Mr. M Mr. Presley? Listen, I can do that. I can, I can, yes, ma'am. I can, I can uh, put a condom on. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it's like, yeah, but I don't like. I'm not even. Gonna, I don't like to have sex with condoms, but that's why I don't have sex with multiple people. You know, a lot. But of, you do. A, a lot. You know, a lot of people. I had a past like everyone else, and I'm trying to leave from that. And I keep. I feel like. Is he doing better he... on the other women thing? Don't lie now. <laughs> Tell the truth, shame the devil. I mean, he is, he is, but it's just like because of so many things. And like I said, when he came back, I did not even know about this last baby that he had. So it was like had when he came back from what? Explain. There must we, have been a break somewhere. We did take a break. Explain that. Child. Explain that. Well, three months after me and him had our child. We had got into a verbal altercation about um, me being on the phone with one of my guy friends who he knew we went to high school with. Mm -hmm. So it was like I didn't understand why it got so to the so point he, that he had yeah. to leave. And then he was gone for like how 
three, yeah, four months, however long. On, he came on. back, like everything was okay. Then um, it was one time where he used my phone, and then I went and seen that he it was his baby mama name in there. So I called it back, being um, the woman that I am, <sighs> being nosy. And I'm like, so who is this? Yeah. And she's like, basically, she didn't say anything to me, but I was able to look in his phone, and that's how I found out about him having the first child that was after my my child. So then we. We, you know, we weren't oh, no, able yeah. to. We weren't able to like, get past. We weren't able to like get past that. Like me mentally, after having our child, and then we splitting up over something so small. Then you make a whole baby. It was like I don't understand how you can come back and then just try to play both sides like that. So it was like I wasn't in it. So then I ended up moving here, and he was wherever he was at, and then we ended up talking again. How so we, we get to the next baby? <laughs> I don't On a break again? We, uh. Well, like I said, he was gone because, like I said, I had moved here. So he was with the baby mama that he had. Uh -huh, just had gotcha. That baby. So then, yeah, that's who he has another baby with. Oh, I see. I see. Mr. Way. Mr. Preston, what, what were you dying to tell me? But she goes out and turns it to a whole nother level. I give her an inch, she takes it a whole mile, Yana. I got a video that shows it all. It shows what Well, she let me did. see it. What are you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you need to stop. I was dying to tell you that she got it all wrong. She thinks that I am supposed to, like, be this whole he-man and save her from whatever she's doing, but she has to understand that she has mistakes that she's done as well. Yes, some people in the past, they accumulate things, they accumulate uh, charges, they accumulate STDs. They I accumulated kids, but I don't, I don't, I don't shame my kids. You know, I, I love, I love my kids, and I'm, I'm going to, you know, what I'm saying, take care of my kids and take what comes with my kids, Your Honor. So I don't have, Not really, I don't have love for a person who always downplaying. Oh, you had another baby. So what? You don't know what my son is going to grow up to be. You don't know what my daughter is going to grow up to be. So the fact that you is over here bitter about that I had kids, I'm not. I, nobody, I don't bitter. think she's nobody mad about the all. actual life. Exactly. I think she was mad that you just went out and made a life. Quickly, but, yeah, while you were on a break. But, but what, what about the? What about? He made a whole family. You talking about, about a relationship? I understand all that. Team. I understand all that. But what about the things that she do when she's on the break? Oh, what well, about you the tell things? me. You tell me what she does. While oh you're my on God, Your Honor, I can remember this one time <laughs> we were on a break. Now listen, I'm listen, Your Honor. I'm. It was a Sunday. I remember it was a Sunday. We just left church. She's banging on the back door. I'm at my mother's house. She's banging on the back door. Let me in. Let me in. She opens the door. Opens the door. Floosh. Here comes her and my daughter. She drops my daughter off. Oh, here you go. Go right here. Keep her. Storms out the door. Hold up. Wait. Pause. Rewind. Where you going? When will you be back? You haven't communicated with me. Man, let me know. You just banging on people's door. This not my house. You feel what I'm saying, Yana? Do it's you just... do you do you see your daughter regularly when you no. work together? It's just Tanisi. She just she just when we're when we're together, it's like she don't want to be there. So it's like why even try to force it? I just want to be like you know co-parent. Co-parent. Yeah. Ms. Duffy, what do you what do you have to say? Do you remember the instance yeah, where you left I do the baby? Very vividly, and I, I did not talk to him for days. I was trying to get him to watch her, and he was ve avoiding me. Come to find out, he had that the baby mama that he just had there. So I, put, why not yeah, um, have your uh, your your daughters? Like I don't understand what's the problem with that. You wasn't answering no calls. Why right, and somebody? you needed somebody to watch the baby. Yeah, like. I didn't understand. Ms. She wanted, she she like wanted to go out and shake her tail feather like she it do it all the time. It was the daytime, Your Honor. Listen, I mean, Your Honor, listen. Like, come on. When I got here, Your Honor, when I got here, Your Honor, she had this thing where she go out every Tuesday. Now, I don't mind, but she goes out and turn it to a whole nother level. She goes out and she turn, I give her an inch, you? she takes it a whole mile, Your Honor. But you, you give, you? she gives you an inch and you make a baby. Thank you. Like, come on She now. gave me a baby. Like, she, uh, she gave, she gave, she gave, she gave me, Yana, I got this, no, no. I got a video that shows it all. It shows what well, she Well, let me do. see it. What are you... Here. Here you go, Nick. <laughs> shows it all. I can't, I can't. I just can't. She want me Press to be Press play, faithful. okay. Oh, hold on now. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Oh, 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 now. You need to stop. Tell that. Yeah. Woo! That ain't me. That's not me. That's not me. That's when she go out, and she expect me to, nah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Got me bent. 
Uh, uh, uh. Speechless. She's mad that you, you keep want doing to love it. Me and you're not able to take care of the kids. That Just because I don't have money today, that doesn't mean that I'm going to have money saying, next week. But what you are you Listen, I don't want to pray. Hey, 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 stop, 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 stop. That was a little raggedy. Ooh. I'm going to admit. But what you were doing there would not have created a life. <laughs> do you see what I'm... Do you see the difference it's the between trust with tacky... It. It's the trust with it. And, no, no, no. But do you see the difference between tacky... Absolutely. And, 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 and creating life? Absolutely. And not being able to take and, care and, of and if And if you're creating life, that means you're having unprotected sex, which means you're exposing her to every possible... Disease just so happened I had unprotected sex and had a baby. And no, it doesn't just so happen. Uh, exactly. Man. Like, you just try to get the But you know what I'm saying? No, like, no. Is, like, no, no thing, you listen, know, Mr. You Presley, Mr. Mr. President, I have to say this. I just have to say this. Yes, ma'am. You know, oops, babies are not, it's not just so happen. You're a grown man. You Absolutely. know what works. You know what, exactly. if you put you this what, thing in what, that place, what, what can happen? <laughs> and you know that, and you know what it, what it can cause, and you know how to stop it, and you choose not to do it on the regular. About the baby situations, like, I love my kids. I mean, don't get me wrong, I want to be I with you, but too. I wouldn't regret none of that for my kids. She's not no, asking you no, to regret it. She is mad. Why bringing up my kids? She's mad that you you keep want doing to love it. me, and you're not able to take care of the kids. That Just because I don't have money today, that doesn't mean that I'm going to have money saying, next week. But what are you like? Listen, I don't want to pray. Hey, 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 they're, you they're eat, going, you they're going to eat. They're going to eat. Now, now I'm going to take up on Mr. Presley over here because I've been beating up on him all yes, afternoon. Yes, I'm hurt. Oh, oh, wait, wait. <laughs> like, God. Oh, he says that even though he's not working, when he you come home, the house is clean, the baby's been bathed, food is ready, it's all taken care of. Do you not respect that effort that he puts into the family even though he doesn't have a job. I respect it. Yes, I do. But I mean, I just feel like because of the how many years that I've put into this, and it's always been the same thing with him thinking, even before the baby, he was doing that. So it's like, that's like his mentality. I, I don't know what it is. So it's just like, I'm fed up with it. If that's the type of man that you want to be, and you want to be a millionaire, you want it's to just, not, I don't jump You're just not it. down for it. Yeah. I'm, I'm done trying to wait around for it because it's like, you done had so many kids, you you trying to make me put my life on pause. I'm not. And everybody else's life on pause, but you can live your dream and your aspirations and stuff. Right, I'm fine. Did you have a response to that? When I get this money, I'm not buying Lamborghinis and chains. I'm buying I'm buying bills and investments and taking it back to where the city that I grew up in that had nothing, Yana. I want to build with her, and that's what I'm saying. It's like, she she don't, I don't, I don't, she want to build and I already want the money to be there. It's not going to be there. We got to grind for this shit. You got to grind for this stuff. Mm -hmm. And I understand that you want me to work, you know what I'm saying, to help you out, and I don't mind doing that. I think that's where she getting it mixed up. She thinks it's like I have a problem with getting a little nine to five, little, little fast food gig. I don't mind because money is money, and it's money. it doesn't matter if it's, you know what I'm saying, it doesn't matter if it's slow money or whatever. And I feel like she's just taking it to a whole nother level. She's trying to call me, make, make it seem like I'm broke or make it seem like I'm it's weak, it, it, and I'm not. If you're the oh. sole person responsible for lives, putting roofs overhead and food in your mouth, that's a grind right there. Absolutely. And, and, and your dreams are wonderful, but in the meantime, don't make obligations that she has to support, you know, and then wonder why she's not more excited about your dream. Yes, you absolutely. I, you, you with me on absolutely that? Absolutely, I am, but I'm not saying that she's obligated. I'm just saying that I would love her She support. is obligated. She's obligated to feed herself. She's obligated to feed uh, your baby, and he's, she's obligated to feed you. Oh, she's... Listen, that's not going to... You eat, though. So you eat, so Hey, listen, regardless. but you make it seem like you're taking care of me. Uh-uh, that's not how it is. That's so not... If I got it, on. you got it, you got it, I got it. What you mean? You making it seem like, nah, I ain't whatever. But she is! Okay. You can't pretend that she's not. She and is! It's been times doing. where she I'm wasn't working. It's, it's... Yeah. Okay, it's cool. All right. I got it, I got it, I got it. So you want... Twenty five hundred in transitional support. That's twenty five hundred dollars. Who? I don't got no job. <laughs> I don't got no money. Where we get from? <laughs> you 
better. <laughs> hey, listen. Listen, I'm that's twenty five hundred dollars. That's how, how many burgers I'm gonna have to flip to get twenty five. No, you want to rap. You want to rap. Here, this is what I'm gonna say. You know, I, I can't give you any money because he's got obligations to other kids. I, I, I'd have to have the full financial picture because I can't give you twenty five hundred dollars and then his other kids end up eating nothing at all. So I, I, I really can't do that. What I would encourage you to do forthwith is return to your hometown and get him on child support. That would require him to get a job in the immediate future. I understand that you have dreams, Mr. Presley. I do, I understand that you have dreams. But if you want to, uh, uh, to concentrate exclusively on what you want tomorrow, you have to take care of your today in a way that doesn't create lives and pressure and, and, and hardship on other people. Yes. And you haven't done that. Yes, ma'am. Do you understand what I'm saying to yes, you? Yes, ma'am. And if you're living in her house and you're eating her food and, and, and she's feeding your baby and then you got another baby on with somebody else, put yourself in her shoes. How raggedy would you feel? Mm, yes, ma'am. It's a raggedy feeling Absolutely. to be taken advantage of like yes, that. And that's how she feels. Yes. You understand? Put him on child support. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. What's next for you? I'm thinking that I'm just going to go ahead and put him on child support because it doesn't seem like we really got anywhere today. So. Judge Lynn had, had a lot of advice for you. You got kids, you have some responsibility here. Yes. So right. are you willing to step up in that department? I'm willing to step up. I'm a rapper and I'm willing to wrap it up. I like that. Judge, today's case is Thong Song. She says he's a lazy cheater. He says she's angry and ungrateful. I believe there's a possibility both of them may be right. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Diamond Walton and Eric Watkins. The two of you have been together for five years, though you have been living together for the last four. You have no children together, but you do have children from a previous relationship. Ms. Walton, you're suing Mr. Watkins for $500, and we'll get to that momentarily. But before we do, Ms. Walton, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why we're here in divorce court today? I'm here, Your Honor, because my lying, cheating, conniving boyfriend, and I'm sick of his mess. Mm. Well, what's he doing? <laughs> well, we club promoters. Right. So we have to promote parties and go out and, you know, bring people in and everything and have a club popping or crunk or whatever you want to call it, or lit, litty. So we went to the club one night, and everything was going good, everything was fine. We got separated for about an hour. When I seen him again... It was some bulging out his back pocket. So I look over there, I said, come here. He came over there, and this is what I found. Your Honor. In his pocket. No, Your Honor. I ain't never seen these drawers the day in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like red drawers, Your Honor. I do not like red drawers. If they were blue, you could have... You it might have been you, yeah, but not red. Been, but the red I got gotcha. I, can't, I can't deal with it, Your Honor. I got gotcha. you. Yo. We were separated for almost two hours, Your Honor. An hour to two hours. And when he came back, he couldn't even look me in my face. Then I find them in your pocket. I knew Your something Honor, was I'm up. a club promoter. I'm around people every day, like a crowd every day. Like, it could be one of my friends or something to put that in my back pocket. I don't know. <laughs> But it was there. Yeah, he was there. <laughs> okay. But, like, but he's also oh. very flirtatious. I was having drinks mm. with my lady friends one night, and I told him, don't rush home, because, you know, me and my friends are going to be here. We drinking. Just me. It was only females oh, there. You no. He Hang rushed on. home. I ain't never seen him get home that fast before. So I was like, what you doing home so early? And he was like, oh, I just came because I was hungry. I cook every day. So I had his meal on the stove prepared. I asked one of my girlfriends to go into the kitchen to get me a cup of ice for the drinks that we had in the living room. I look over there, he rubbing on her booty. Oh. So I look over there, I said, what are y'all doing? 
And they act like it was innocent. So that's how I knew it was something that was already up with that. Like, I was the dumb one. Okay, Mr. Watkins, what's your response to those accusations? My response is that this, this lady right here, she gets angry about anything. Like, <laughs> fool, yeah, she cook. She do this cook around the house. I mean, yeah, she had got two spoons, Your Honor. She got two spoons. She had forgotten two spoons. I said, she got through cooking. She said, um, Eric, um, would you go please give um, the kids two forks, you know, and give it to them? So I, I got them two forks, you know, and gave it to them. Then when I came back to the couch, I was like, yo, do you need me to do anything else before I even get up again? <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, we need to do <laughs> Like, what, what attitude problems? I, I don't like it. Is anybody else queasy? <laughs> Oh, my God. Like... I'm so busy trying to stay upright, I can't remember. I don't know what you said. <laughs> you say he steals money. <laughs> he do. Tell I me about that. I was in jail about two or three months ago. Because no, I was working at a super center. And <laughs> I was eating on my lunch break, and I wasn't paying for it. So they put me on probation. And I didn't get... No, caught. hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> you, you went no. to jail for what? I was eating chicken wings... Yeah. The super center I was working at. Uh -huh. And they pressed charges against me. Because you didn't pay for the wings that you ate. Because I just ate it. So I was on the run for about three years. So they had just caught me about two months ago. So when I went to jail... You were on the run for three years? <laughs> yes, I was. So when... So I'm, I'm on home wave and my friend's telling me Eric riding around with some girl driving her car. Well, I'm in jail. But not only that... I left my food stamp card with him. I left my direct deposit card in, with him and everything. And I got the evidence right here. But well, let me see the evidence. <clears throat> and he spent money on stuff that was not for me. I asked him to put money on my books and on homeway so I could talk to so him. So how much time did you get for stealing the chicken wings? Well, the DA gave me 100 days, but <laughs> since it was a misdemeanor, I got the two for one, so I ended up doing 50. And in 50 days, he couldn't even be faithful for, to a me. A two for one? Did you, did you have another charge? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was, just, it was just one. 50 days is a long time for some chicken wings, but OK. <laughs> but he's also very bad with money. Were you running around with some random chick while she was doing her 50 days for the chicken wing? No, Your Honor, I wasn't running around with no random chick. I was handling the business like I was supposed to do, like a man supposed to do in the household, paying bills, paying You put money rent. on her books? Yes, I did put money on her books. I put $50 on her books, and that's all she need, because guess what? You don't need to party in jail, because you <laughs> locked up. <laughs> what you need a whole wardrobe for in jail? Oh, I need 500 here and there. <laughs> I can't That's work a dollar a day, Mr. Watkins. Isn't that a little tight? That, 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 it, ain't, it ain't tight enough, because um, call me $50 here, and next week, $50 more. Next you. week, $50 more. Oh, That's okay. because he's very bad with money. Explain to me why you believe he's bad with money. Well, last month, he's on a fixed income. We both are. Right. So, he go buy a CD and DVD burner. Uh-huh. And CDs and movies to sell, because that was his hustle when I met him. Mm -hmm. And I told him, I said, Eric, don't nobody buy CDs and movies no more. Everybody got Roku's or Fire Sticks. Like, it's not going to sell. He said, believe me, I got this, I got this. I said, no. So he ended up having, like, he spent the whole check to invest in this and didn't make no money out of it. Mr. Watkins, are you still burning CDs and DVDs? Oh, yes, I love burning CDs and movies because, yeah, it makes me But does honest. that make sense, though, in this day and age? Yes, yes, it do make sense because um, Parcel Towns do not have no Roku uh. Uh, on Netflix <laughs> or this and that. They still rock the DVD. Yes, they yeah, do. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Well, did you make any money? Yes, I made uh, lots of money to take care of my household and my two kids. Of hers, yeah. I call them my my life. Yo, your kids. Yeah. Oh, that's good for you. Speaking kids, of yeah. children. Oh yeah, she's always angry. I'm talking about like every time. Like, why the agent like always come on when you get behind the wheel? I'm like, what I supposed to do? Like, we done the been together. Light off? We done been together for five years, right? For five years. We done had six cars, and every one of them he tore them up. <laughs> Speaking of children, his birthday and my oldest child is a day apart. Right. On his birthday, he spent all the money on himself. He bought shoes, liquor, 
party favorites, all of no. that stuff. So the next day is my child's birthday. No. We only had like, what, $20, $25 to spend on him? We didn't have nothing. Because he did you didn't splurge know how to on yourself and, and 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 Junior didn't get a good day? No, Your Honor, it was my birthday. So why why, why would nobody have fun on their birthday? Like, yes, I'm gonna have fun on my birthday. No, I did not spend all the money. The next day, yes, we had cake, ice cream, part of the little decorate stuff in the hall, and her oh, friend girls wanna be liars, they came over too, yeah, to have a good time <laughs> with us. <laughs> You yeah. say she's always angry. What do you mean by that? Oh, yes, yeah, she's always angry. I'm talking about, like, every time, like, she asked me to go get some aspirin for her headache. Mm -hmm. I went to the store, got some aspirin, came, I came back, oh, you got the wrong kind. You dummy. <laughs> Throw it at me. <laughs> dummy. You know what I'm like? Oh, I'm a dummy. Okay, well, well. Did he Actually, get the wrong kind of aspirin? I asked for Tylenol. Uh, uh, she gonna get what I give her. I be profit, taught and all, <laughs> Advil, aspirin pills, whatever. Whatever, whatever. Whatever that clear that headache, you will. Yes. Can you tell me any other instances where she got angry for no reason? Oh my God. Oh, she, one day I was driving the car and uh, a member had called me. He was like, yeah, um, I'm in Pittsburgh, Texas. And so I had went there, you know, to go pick him up, me and her did, you know. So she asked me to drive, because she don't drive at nighttime. So I'm driving down the street. Oh, why the engine like always come on when you get behind the wheel? I'm like, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Like, we done the engine been light together. off? We done been together for five years. Right. In five years, we done had six cars. And every one of them, he tore them up. <laughs> every last one of them. And this night, he talking about, it was, when we went to Pittsburgh, it was like four guys, big guys. They were not small. And I have a mini SUV. Mind you, he with me and my two children. We had people in the back of the trunk trying to ride back, scrubbing, scraping the car, every bump, boom, bam, <laughs> boom, bam. And I'm like, y'all just gonna have to get out of here. It got so bad, the car started smoking. <laughs> I don't even know what to ask you, Mr. Watkins. So I was cleaning. I said, you gonna help me clean up? And after he did, and I said, well, you know what? Just forget about it. I'm not gonna clean up. It wasn't real dirty, no way, but I'm not gonna clean up if you're not gonna help me clean up and you stay here, too. So he didn't clean up, and we almost got evicted. You say she right. always knows. She knows how to push your buttons. She knows what to yes. do to make you angry. What kind of things does she do purposely to Ooh. upset you? Oh, what she do purposely to upset me, Yana? She'll ask me a question, and, and if I don't answer right, she get upset. You know, uh, so I'm like, you no, know, she just angry. She angry all the time. You no know, Facebook. She wrote her um, look evidence on Facebook. Yeah, uh, I like black things, black big things. I'm like, what I is like black, black big, big things? things. Yeah, <laughs> black big things. Then and she, she wrote that on. She wrote that on Facebook. On public. That's Facebook. <laughs> Facebook is public. I, I love big black things. Now, what is big black thing? You wanna tell me this? <laughs> like, I don't even must know. Like, Miss Walton, what was up with the Facebook post? That's because he made a post earlier that day about some sexual behavior. Uh -huh. so I'm like, when you're in a relationship, you don't post stuff like that. So, like you said, I matched his energy. And I, I made it where he could feel where I was coming from, feel the pain that I felt. <clears throat> and he made me feel for his Facebook but, post. Your Honor, and that, that's a one. But a two against a one, she made another post. Uh, and this one right here was about, oh my God. <laughs> hot girl summer, okay? How you gonna be a hot girl summer? And you got a whole man that's faithful you, like. She said she was having summer. a hot girl summer? No, I'm having a hot girl summer. Like, why would I want a girl that have a hot girl summer? You supposed to be, have a, a lady summer, a woman. Yeah, summer. I got you. you <laughs> original, like summer. Like, did you, did you? Post something about having a hot girl summer? I did, but that was simply because I was enjoying my homegirls and we was having drinks mm. during the summer, going swimming, you know, doing stuff that girls do. So I posted it not to intend that I was going out being promiscuous or nothing like that. It was intended to say I'm having a good time. Good time with your girls. ladies, yeah, with your girls, they were out and everything. Mm, yeah. On a hot girl summer, huh? Okay. <laughs> mm. yeah. You say that everything falls on you no matter what goes on, you're responsible for everything. Yes. Tell me why you say that. Because it's like everything, he just sit around on his phone 24 7. 
Anything that the kids need, I'm doing. Anything when it comes to cooking, cleaning, I almost got to take out the trash. You know how many times I had to ask him to take out the trash last week? It was about four or five times. I mean, the trash can just stinking. <laughs> Mr. Walking up in there just stinking. And I said, you going to take the trash out? I've been asking no. you. And he was like, no, nah, no. Nah, I'm going to do it in a little bit. I got you. I'm going to do it in a little bit. It never got done. And so we had an inspection at my uh, apartment that I stay in. So I was cleaning. I said, you going to help me clean up? And after he did, and I said, well, you know what? Just forget about it. I'm not going to clean up. It wasn't real dirty, no way. But I'm not going to clean up if you're not going to help me clean up and you stay here, too. So he didn't clean up, and we almost got evicted. Mr. Watkins, do you, do you remember that? Yes, I do remember that. And what do also, you say happened? And also, she had this pit in the house, a cat pit. So we can't have pets you at all. You had a who? A, a cat, kitty, a little kitty cat. I, yeah. Oh, cat? Yeah. I thought you said pig. Yeah. <laughs> we, can't, we can't have that in, in our community or right. class, you know? And she got this, yo, know, get the dookie out the thing, you know? All right, all right, all right. Uh, but, you know, stop saying that, but, you know, I gotta, I'm not no animal person, period. But I got to do the stuff because she got an animal in the house. It was a kitty. It was potty trained. It had its mm -hmm. litter box. Cats yeah. are very clean animals, but I don't, I don't have not no litter box. <laughs> you say she's ungrateful that you can come home from a long day of work and she's just ungrateful. Tell me about that. Oh, oh Lord. Like, like I come home from work and um, I say, you no, know, I come home from work, hey, baby, you know, but I don't get no hey, baby, back. And I'll be like, what's on your mind that's making you, you know, you know, you're supposed to be surprised once you see your husband come in. But, you know, she got everything else on her mind. Like, oh, leave me alone right now. Um, I'm doing something on my phone. Uh, you know, stuff like that. Like, that's aggressive. Like, Ms. Walton, are, are, are you no fun to come home to? I am fun to come home to. But it's like, when he come home, I done got the kids from school. I done cook. I done clean. I done did homework with my babies. I'm tired. And he don't understand that part, because I don't get no help from him on that end. So it's like, when he come home, I'm winding down. Just like he should be doing when he getting off from work. But instead, you want to get hyped, go to the club, all this stuff. No, I want to chill at home and be a house body sometimes. Okay, but he don't understand summer. that. Hot girl summer, don't <laughs>Okay. Yeah. Now, Mrs. Now, Ms. Walton, you want $500 for Mr. Watkins. Are you ready, Nick? <laughs> she wants him to pay her $500 so she can throw her son, who is what, seven? Mm -hmm. A proper birthday party. What you need $500 for a birthday party for? Ooh. Because I want to get him all the stuff that I never had. Like, I want to get him the toys that he always asked me for. He's been doing really good in school. He's going to start basketball soon. So I want to get him the stuff that I never got to do as a child because I came from, a, you know, a bad background. Right, right. So I want to get him, like, I really want to take him to Celebration Station. It's a place where you can rent out and all the kids go. It's kind of like Chuck E. Cheese, but kind of bigger. I gotcha. Yeah. I gotcha. I gotcha. And buy the food and his gifts and his outfits because he's, he's tall. He's growing every day. Okay, Mr. Watkins, do you have any problem? Don't you think that the young man ought to have a great seventh birthday party? Well, and he kind of ruined it by going overboard with your birthday party? Well, yes, I, I, I think he should have a, um, uh, a $50 birthday party. But <laughs> not 500 Like, 500 then the next day, oh, I just spent $500 on your birthday party, fussing with the kids, you know? Why would you oh! pay him about spending $500, you know? There is no legal theory under which I can oh. give you $500 for your son's birthday party because you think he didn't spend enough, he spent too much money on his birthday party and didn't have enough, spend, enough to spend on your son's birthday party. Personally, I think everybody gets too crazy about their birthday these days. You know, it's got to be a national holiday. Everybody, somebody gets a year older, you know? Just, you know, a little cake, a little ice cream. Sounds fine to me. Uh, um, uh, uh... <laughs> I'm not quite sure what to say. I, I, I think that maybe you two ought to try and stay together, make it work. Because I don't know where else you're going to go. <laughs>
There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. <laughs> Tell me about the red panties here. Well, this I is mean, the main problem. It is, like, ain't no friend, homeboy, associate that's gonna put no red drawers in your back pocket at the club. Who got red drawers on hand to put in your pocket? I'm not sure to answer that one, but <laughs> we'll see. So you want this to work, yeah? Yes, I want this to work, yes. So what can you do after you leave in here? Um, what can I do is uh, straighten my attitude up, bring me more up, you know? I love them, so. Judge, today's case is ghosting. These two don't know whether they're coming or going. He's questioning the paternity of the children, and she's always threatening to leave. Let's see if we can get to the bottom of their issues. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Josie Morris and Cecil Morris. Mr. and Mrs. Morris, you've been together for eight and a half years, married for seven, and you have four children together, but you do not want to be married anymore. Mrs. Morris, you are seeking $300 from Mr. Morris for a ring, and we'll talk about that momentarily. But before I do, I will say this, Mr. Morris, you question the paternity of your youngest two children. And we did have a DNA test done on both of your youngest, and we do have those results, and I will have them for you later on in this proceeding. But, Mrs. Morris, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about this marriage and why we're here in divorce court today? Well, I'm here today because we have been together for so long. We've had four kids, and mm -hmm. I have um, a medical disorder. When I have a children, I almost die every time I have one. Mm -hmm. And with our last two kids, he was not at the hospital with me. Turn around and look. And that That's, would be, which kid is that? That Do you would remember? be my two-year-old, my the, first little the, girl. The first, first okay, one. first of the two girls. And that's the oh, baby. Oh, man. And my baby's right there. Yeah, cuteness overload. Oh, yes. And sassy. But, um, so he wants to sit there and say that the baby, the 11-month-old, is too big. Like, she's bigger because I've been, always been small and he's small. But, and our boys are small. He's not girl. small. Well, he's tall, but he's thin. But my baby's thick. My baby, she mm -hmm. likes to eat. I mean, <laughs> Mr. Morris, do, 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 you, do you not believe those youngest two girls are yours? I mean, it's not so much that they're not mine, but, I mean, if they were, why would, you know, why would things be like they were? She's always starting on leaving because of it, you know what I mean? Yeah, she wouldn't gives you? Me no, she gives me nothing else to, to believe, but they aren't. I mean... What, what makes... What makes you think what she does makes you believe she they're not your kids? The two of them's got my name, other two of them don't. I mean The other two don't because he don't know how to act. So you you gave them your last yes. name? Yes, when I had my first son, I did not let him come to the hospital. I left him when I was pregnant because like I said, he don't know how to act. He act crazy, and I wasn't dealing with it, but so I left. What when you say don't know how to act, what does he do? He he don't know how to control his anger. He don't know how to control himself. Like he don't know how to conduct himself. No one taught him that, I guess. Okay, Mr. Morris. She pushed me over my limits. I mean, her her and her family member. You know, I was headed up to the hospital to see him when she had the baby, and then I, I called to make sure everything's okay. You know, and she's like. Well, her family members say, oh, I got the police waiting out here by the door. But there's and, reasons for that. You know, there's no good, do you know good? Did they around. call the police out of the blue, or were, or were there reasons why they called the police? Just because her family member was, um, I guess, overprotective or whatever with her. She was going to Why did they call me. the police? They didn't call the police. She said that if he came up there, she was going to call the police. But that's because they've had words, and yeah. there has been threats, and there baby. had been you know, not hers. people riding by my house and, you know, stuff like that while I was pregnant, and then you you denied you while I was pregnant. You weren't menacing your wife, were you? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you were, no. Mr. Okay. Morris. Yes, you were. We can start with the bull. What you all mad about? What's what, what's what's causing all that consternation over there? She let her family members stand in the way. You know, they're my babies. Why wouldn't you let the daddy come up to the hospital? Just step back a little bit and ask yourself, was there stuff going on between the two of you or her and her family that would have made your presence particularly difficult? Not really. Her mama would have probably had a problem with it, but, um, I mean, I didn't. You know what I mean? 
Were any of your family members keeping him away to from the hospital? To an extent, because the way we grew up, we grew up in a domestic violence home where there was bad talking, there was, you know, stuff being thrown, and there was people who couldn't control their anger and right. stuff like that. So they felt like they were protecting me by not going through that cycle again. Okay. I didn't grow up like that. Mm. My dad okay. was a Baptist preacher. That wasn't in our home. Well, yeah. just because he's a preacher, don't, you know, it, it, it know, goes the through holes all in levels the wall of society. Not teach by the are you are you a calm and cool husband and father, or there, or is there a lot of stuff going on at your house? Can you control your anger? Oh, there's never a dull moment at my house. If the kids ain't driving me crazy, she is. Mm -hmm. So do you get angry easily? Oh yeah. And do you get very angry? Do you get physical? Do you throw stuff? Uh, I tear my own stuff up. But yeah, you tear your own put stuff my hands up. On her. Mm -hmm. He don't put his hands on me, but he dang sure take out a window. Is, is that accurate? And she pushed me to the limit. She pushed Correct. you to the limit? Yes. Is, is there a short distance between you and your limit? I mean, it's not just that, that that's a Sometimes. big problem. Sometimes. It's, he's insecure. Tell me about that. Oh, my Jesus, where do we start? Okay, let's see. I can be in the bathtub, and he, when I'm getting undressed to get in the bathtub, remind you, I have babies with me in the bathtub all the time. He'll come up there and see bruises on me. Well, my medical dis my you know, my blood disorder, I bruise easily. He'll be like, oh, that was from your boyfriend, huh? Mm-hmm. You walk to the park and you got it on the park, he grabbing you that hard. And I'm like, no. I don't even know how I got it. How'd you get that bruise? Who are you with? Right, right. I mean, come on, I'm taking a bath. And not just that, he ain't there half the time. I went in to have surgery. Oh, well, no, let's say when I went to have my daughter, he was four minutes from missing the birth. And they thought I was gonna, you know, die when I had her. My blood platelets were low, and I had to have her completely natural. He wasn't there. I was across but the hallway getting some coffee. He getting out of the coffee. coffee. He room. was thirsty. He was parched. He mm -hmm. was in labor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was at 10 centimeters. <laughs> so then I had the baby. <laughs> I had the baby, okay. and I hemorrhaged. And then, you know, a couple days later, they released me out of the hospital, whatever. A couple days later, I'm back in the hospital for an uh, infection, and they right. thought I was septic, so, you know, they thought I was gonna die then. He was there 10 minutes. We and he was home. there at night. He was there at night. Let me tell you, he was there at night. We got a home. I got dogs at the house. We was living with a paraplegic lady we were taking care of. I mean, they're in a room. I had to go home and let them out. To they destroyed the house, you know, and then we don't have nothing to come home to. I could mm -hmm. die. You know? Who cares? But that doesn't take long to take the dogs out. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I called him at like five, told him I was hungry, and he got there at 12. So. And with no food, so. With no food? No food. I forgot about the food. We were trying to get a new car to come home in. Yeah, mm hmm But we didn't. Did, and Mr. Not... Morris, we, we, when you think about it, you know, are you less than an attentive, loving husband? Did, uh, are you worried about what you're angry about and not worried about what she needs? No. Not, you maybe, don't think Maybe in her true? own words, but no. Can I ask you this? First of all, you can't tell somebody that, that you're leaving every other day and expect him to be secure and expect him to act anything other than half, half in the bag mm -hmm. crazy because, uh, you know, when you tell somebody it's not safe, it's not safe, it's not safe, it's not safe, their brain is going to believe it's not safe, it's not safe, it's not mm -hmm. safe, and he will conduct his business that way. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying... I think he I think he can get on one over there. I'm not saying you should you should put up with a whole lot of stuff, but I'm telling you if you want to stay and you want the relationship not to be crazy, you can't keep going there to the mm -hmm. I leave part. We're in the middle of the road and I get out and there's someone riding by on a four-wheeler. I don't know who it is. I could care less who it was. He jumps in front of this four-wheeler and accuses me of him sleeping together. And I'm like, I've never met this guy. I don't know this guy. So how am I sleeping with him? The question I have for you is, do you behave in a manner that would make you feel comfortable if you went into your daughter's house one day and saw her husband acting the way you act? I'd whoop him all over the house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he needs a whooping all okay, over the house. Okay, okay. So you do understand your kids will do what you do or marry who that, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. It, it, understand it. Does that cause you any concern? It does, because now that the kids are getting older, I see, you know, them kind of wanting to follow daddy's footsteps, and I'm like, oh. Do it's a not different. a good look, right? Yeah. Do you, are you doing anything about it? 
Well, I'm trying to show her, you know what I mean, and give her stability and show her that I'm not going to run off or whatever and trying to get her to stop telling me every time something comes around that she's going to leave or, or something like that. And I never thought the kids wasn't mine, but if the kids are mine and everything's hunky-dory, then why you keep saying you're going to leave and go to your daddy? The kids are yours. She's saying the kids are yours, but she's also saying everything is not hunky-dory. No. Yeah. Just All because, time. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She's leaving because... It's an uncomfortable home to be in. Your, your house needs to be a peaceful, safe place for you. And what she's telling you, incorrectly, mm -hmm. by saying I'm leaving all the time, is like, my home is not a peaceful, yeah, but it's safe hard place to get out and go make a living. It. It's, hang on, hang on. What, it's what, what, hard to get out and go make a living and, and support your family like a man needs to if you're always in the back of your mind saying, oh, well, she's just going to leave anyway or... You know, if this doesn't work out the way she wants it to, then she's going to, you know... Did she start saying, I'm going to leave out of the blue, or did you start acting up first? That's the part I'm trying to get you to. <laughs> I don't know. I, you I concentrate on her yeah. wrong, but you don't need, you don't see why she's saying that. Right. See what I'm saying? I got my reasons. Well, get, tell me a few of them. Okay, so me and some family members went to meet him to get the house key. We're in the middle of the road, and I get out, and there's someone riding by on a four-wheeler. I don't know who it is. I could care less who it was. He jumps in front of this four-wheeler and accuses me of him sleeping together. And I'm like, I've never met this guy. I don't know this guy, so how am I sleeping with him? I'm in front of you. What, are we going to take the well, four-wheeler down the road? No, we have... Mr. I, Morris, what, what's your, your, your recollection of that story? I work with her family member's boyfriend all the way in Savannah, and um, the whole time, the first day, the whole way down there, out first night, she's picking up, you know, we're talking, everything's hunky dory. The next morning, she's not picking up the phone all day long. And I'm like, man, I said, y'all brought me down here. You know Josie's packing up right now, leaving me, ain't she? Oh, no, no, no. If a woman is leaving you, there's usually a reason. There's something that you did. Do you, can you think of anything that was going on in the home that would make her want to leave you? I couldn't, besides, I could. every, every time I would try to do something for her and get us in a better level in life, she, that's what she would do. I mean, the like, door Every time we had a door, if it's going to be open. Well, tell, give, me, give him a couple of concrete examples. Of why Don't I just... leave, why I say I'm leaving you, let's see, you punch holes in the wall, you disrespect me, calling me every name in the book, plus some, and that's not right because I, I'm going to do it Well, back. I mean, I give it back but to anyways, you, you calling me um, that, So, I mean... Not just that, it's I don't, you don't have to stay stuck up my butt and I'm tired of being stuck up yours. I wouldn't be. But you have to be specific because he's not getting it and neither am I. Are you at him all day long? I'm not on him all day. The only time I'm on him is if we got bills to pay and you ain't going 100. No, that ain't right. She's on me, it don't matter. Tell me what he does that causes your home to be an unpleasant place to be in. I, I work. See. I don't clean the house. True that. He don't help. That's yeah, but he's working all day, isn't he? I'm working with him. She's riding in the passenger side. I mean, I don't get me we, wrong, I appreciate it, but she rides in the passenger side. I'm right there side. with him I'm loading, loading just it as up. much because it's and my bills, too. We get home, and we I got sit the on the couch, with us. she's cleaning. I mean, ain't that... So all of you go to work together? Yes. The whole family? Yes, besides uh. the two older ones that are at school. So when, when, when she's with you all day, is that a good thing or a bad thing? If she, according to what kind of mood she wakes up Well, in. I mean, we share everything anyways. Like, we have to share a phone. We have to share email. We, we share the vehicle. Why? Financial problems or... I mean, it's not just financial, because, yeah, we struggle. We got four kids, but it's more or less... You know, he can snoop on the phone, make sure I ain't talking to my boyfriend that I didn't know I had and stuff. Uh, uh, now, let me ask you... Let me... I'm gonna ask about that, but let me ask you this. Are you at him all day long? I'm not on him all day. The only time I'm on him is if we got bills to pay and you ain't going 100. If you ain't going to try to get it, then why should I? No, that ain't right. She's on me. It don't matter. But you, we're struggling financial, but it's costing us so much money paying for food for the girls all day and every day because they're out there working with us. Why can't we sit at home? What do you think she's fussing about? Is she just, she's just a nag? Is she just... Uh, 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 dissatisfied? Just no. nag, 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 nag. If I was dissatisfied, <laughs> look, look, I, I ain't got a bath time, a meal time, I ain't got a bathroom to if the If I take the cigarettes away myself, for 30 I'm minutes, she's leaving. i cigarette to myself. You right? I'm not and, sure what y'all mm, doing when you get home. Crazy. I'm really not sure. Most of the time, I'm cleaning, cooking, changing butts, and getting kids ready for school while he sits there. That's, that's what we do. Uh -huh. Do you not work as hard as you could, Mr. Morris? 
I wouldn't, if, if she would quit telling me that all the time, you know what I mean? If she would t quit telling you to get a job, you would get a job. No, if she quit telling me she's leaving and... <laughs> I, I mean, wish. I wish that worked. postpartum depression with our third, our, our last kid, whoa. Hey, I always laugh that off. Man, I got three kids, that stuff's a joke. No, it's not. Yeah. Yeah, you know, the only thing worse than being with a woman in postpartum depression mm. is being a woman with postpartum depression. Yes, thank I've you. I've had it. Thank you. You, got, you get to watch Bless it. Bless your heart. She has to live it. It's, it, it, it's worse. It's like saying, oh, it's, it's so hard watching you have a bad time. Huh. She's having a bad time. And then when you ask her something about it, she'd bite my head off. Because like, you well, don't that's know. That's because she's having an issue. Yeah, and see, I could take her, put her in the car, get away from everybody. We'd drive a quarter of a mile down the road, and she's just happy as go lucky. I'm like... Well, that's me. Maybe I just, like, turn the radio on and I'm not hearing you. Y'all you know scared me. I, where do y'all live? Georgia. Madison. Oh, right here. Okay. Madison, Georgia. You know Which way is, is it? From Which here? direction? That way. That yeah. way? Wait. I don't know. I've, I've been around that the way? airport three times and then down the Nick, middle of that purple tube. Don't ever let me turn that way. Uh -huh. she would have have so move, move, don't, don't let, let me go lie. that way. I'm going to stay over here. Uh-uh. You would have so much fun. Do you, you really think that these kids aren't yours? In my heart, I feel like they are, but I just want some... Well, I mean, he accused me of having fake Facebooks and everything, so I guess that's where their dad's at, so I don't know. <laughs> well, he owes me a lot of money. Me too. Facebook dad. Is he a good dad? He's a good dad. There's some, like, with the language and the way he acts, our sons are starting to pick up. So I'm like, stop it, stop it, stop it. You know what I mean? Just sit down. Don't hey, Mr. Morris. They're all mine. I won't go talk about that. If if I were to get you some, I, I know you're gonna tell me no, but if I were to get you somebody that you could talk to to kind of, because you know that that the behavior that you're engaging will trickle down to the next generation. And I'm starting to see that now. And, 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 yeah. If I was to get you some help, would you take it? Yeah. Would you? Yeah. You. That's as happy as I've been all day long. And for, you don't need to be with him all the time. <laughs> yeah, get out of my Sometimes you should give each well, other some things. Sometimes need a some, kid. Of what, some, he, some of the most wonderful things that ever happened was when they were apart. And you know, who's and, they, under and who? they get back together. If you, you riding around at work with them all day long, I don't know what that's about. I don't either. I don't want to. I don't know what that's about. So you are going to get the help that I offer you, oh, yeah, right? But I'm under her butt, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I just, I just fussed at her. Here, Nick. So when you get home, you're going to work to change the behavior that will hurt all of your biological children, all four of them, because they're biologically yours, all of them. She's not cheating on you. She's not running around on you. That's just not what's happening. What I she's telling you is she's unhappy at home. She's saying the wrong thing, but she's telling you that she's not calm, cool, and comfortable and at peace at the crib with you. Yeah. That's what she's telling you. Not that she don't want you, not that she don't love you, not that she ain't got, that she got somebody else. It's just that she's trying to get you to do, she doesn't feel secure and safe. She wants you to work harder and be nicer. Now, don't nag him. Help him in his path to better by being cooler. Don't keep pulling the rug out under with it. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave. That's like running in a loop in this mm -hmm. man's head and he's got all these great stories to, to do it. Mm -hmm. do, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I understand. Do, do, do you, cause yeah, I it's tried, for you and, and the I kids. I worked really hard on not saying I was leaving. I'm gonna have, work on it cause I'm gonna get something to work on him okay. and then you work on you. I will. And we work on it together. Yeah. Y'all won't kill each other. As That's long as I keep back for. door I'm Off of the back for. porch, we'll be good. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. So he finally knows now for a fact that all four children are here. Do you think that will kind of help him now? Yes, be he will stop father? with the comments also. That's and we can move forward from that. That's water under the bridge, I hope. You knew those kids were yours all along, didn't you? Oh, yeah. All right. Now, put no, some no. paper in front of you. You feel okay? Oh, yeah. Feel a lot better. All right, so that's that. Now, what's next for you? We're gonna get you some counseling. Yeah, we get some work counseling. On work on it. That way, my little boys don't, you know, trickle down. I mean, Judge Lynch, you really focus on that point that you got to be a better role model. So, what's running? You know, what's going through your head now? Just trying to get it fixed so she'll quit telling me she's leaving. 
follow us on Instagram for additional content from this case and preview our next all-new episode.